what is going on everybody welcome back to another destiny 2 video today we're gonna be using the sturm i was gonna use a drain with it but i actually don't have one i checked my postmaster or my vault i don't have any drains lying around i love this game i don't have any drains lying around it doesn't even let me pull drain from the collections it said i've never gotten it before which i don't even know how that's possible because i literally have the sturm and i did the quest many times so I don't know. I can't use a drain with it. So I won't be able to actually get that damage buff or whatever the fuck it does. You get a buff, then you swap to Sturm. I'm just gonna be using Sturm straight up, raw. You know, just sad this is the way I like it, but I don't expect this to go very well. I am dog me with this hand cannon. And I'm also playing control. Like I said I was gonna do, so it's probably gonna be an uh, interesting. Interesting day. Compared to other 120s, Sturm just doesn't feel good to me. Compared to Igneous and True Prophecy, but I know it's not bad. It's definitely not terrible. I'm trying to warm up with it. And I have developed a new a new strat that I'm gonna start doing. Just for like consistency. So because the first thing I do when I wake up, I hop on Overwatch, I check the store, I get disappointed, and then I, you know, warm up and play some ranked. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get on. Do that same thing, but the second I lose a comp game, I'm getting off and I'm recording a video. Which means if I get farmed right away and I lose the first game, like I did today, that's fine. I get off, I get on Destiny, and I record my video and I get it done early. But if I'm going on a win spree or like I'm just on a constant win streak, I mean that's okay. Boom, I'm just fucking farming Elo. But if I just insta lose, it gives, even if I go three and one, I'm getting off and I'm recording a video. Just so that I'm doing something. I'm not trying to go on a fucking lost streak and then record my video still late, you know? So if I'm doing good, then I'll stay on. But if I lose the first game, even if I do good, it doesn't matter. I'm getting off and I'm recording Destiny. Then I'll go back into losing. But just so it's easier, just so I don't upload late, that's what I'm gonna start doing. But now the thing is, I need to fucking stream, man. I gotta stream fucking 60 more hours. I'm sure you guys, if you guys have Twitter, you've seen the, um, the Twitch like ad incentive shit and everyone's like posting how much money they make or how much money they're being offered for the people that don't know i'll basically just like fill you guys in so recently twitch added something i i'm guessing it's to compete with youtube in a way so people don't swap but basically on twitch it's, i believe it's for partners only but depending on like your viewer average you know i don't know if the number of subs you have goes into play with it i don't think it does i think it's just a viewer like viewer average and then time streamed it basically like brings you a number and if you play a certain number of ads per hour which is given by twitch they determine how many hours and how many minutes you have to stream or how many minutes of ads you have to run per hour basically they give you three options lowest amount of money for lowest amount of ads and highest amount of money for highest amount of ads and for me i am getting a good amount i'm getting i mean i'm gonna be all too transparent with it this last month for September, they offered me $3,000 to stream six minutes of ads per hour or 60 some hours, which is fine. I think that's worth it. I don't think, I think six minutes of ads is understandable for that amount of money. Six minutes of ads is a lot. I agree. But the thing is the difference between the lowest amount, which would be three for me, it's three. It was like three, four and six. I think for me, it was three, four and six or four, five and six. It was a 2k difference for an extra two minutes of ads so it went from 1k to 2k to 3k and in my opinion that is like if you're not taking that offer for someone in my position i feel like that's just like a waste of money but this next month for october even though i hit that requirement and i did all that stuff and i made the money for them they lowered my thing from 3000 to like 1500 for more amount of ads per hour and for more hours streamed all right so yeah that's pretty much what they did and then on the 15th of like every month they give you the incentive for next month so even though i haven't even like finished my hours stream for this month and all that they're already giving me my next month's thing and what would i say i think my thing right now is 1500 1500 for like seven minutes or something like that of ads now the highest tier that they're giving me, they're giving me 2k for 9 minutes of ads, bro. 
Nine minutes of ads an hour for fucking 2k. It's like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to take it because nine minutes is actually like, too long. Like, that's actually AIDS. If you're not subbed, that's actually AIDS. Like, there's no point. You can't even watch it. Bro, what is happening? And like, I'm not really trying to justify it, but I mean, there are ad blockers that you can use so you don't get ads. But that's the thing. Not everyone watches, uh, you know, Twitch on a fucking PC. And not everyone has access to those ad blockers. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're on fucking every like, Chrome, Firefox, whatever the fuck. But the thing is too that I do to like try and help is that if you are someone in my stream that like watches and you have channel points, right? You are able to redeem a gifted sub. Like I will, I will out of my, out of my pocket, I will gift you a sub to my channel if you have enough channel points. And it's not an absurd amount to the point where it's like you have to sit there and watch for your entire life to get one sub. No, like if you spend time and you watch like when I stream trials and you are there for like maybe like maybe a month, you can probably get a sub a month, honestly. If you watched it, you could probably redeem a sub a month in my channel so you never get ads. Obviously not everyone watches that. And also not everyone wants to spend $4.99 to watch a stream. But it's also, it's like, it's hard to say no to money that's just sitting there that because ads are going to be on your channel anyway. No matter what, there will be ads on your channel regardless. If someone clicks on my stream and they're not subbed and they don't have an ad blocker or Twitch Turbo, they're going to watch ads anyway. So it's just like finding a good middle ground because like some people's offers are like three minutes of ads for an hour. I think three minutes is perfectly fine. If I was watching a streamer that I genuinely liked and I was not subscribed and I had to watch a fucking 30 second ad, like that's like, I'll, dude, I'm not going to fucking lose my mind. I'll just, I don't care. I'll just fucking go open up TikTok or something. Go open up fucking another Chrome tab and go look at something else or go do something. Like, I'm not going to freak out about it. But I feel like nine minutes of ads is actually absurd. I, the way I have to space it out is gross. I have to do like two minutes of ads or three minutes of ads every 22 minutes or like every 18 minutes. It's fucking gross. And I'm basically only streaming trials. So it's like people miss a whole fucking trials game. Okay, dude. These kids in fucking rumble just love it. I could, I could, I could have just walked backwards. It would have been fine, but he wanted to stay and fight. But it's just, it's weird, man. Like people ask me if I'm considering going to YouTube or all that shit. It's like, I don't know if there's a point realistically because regardless if there's ads or not I'm still making more off of Twitch than I would YouTube because I already have a platform there you know like it's not like I'm being offered a contract to go to YouTube where I'm getting money regardless if I maintain the viewers or not but it's more of I already have people that have been subbed to me on Twitch for literally four or five years have like show support and all that stuff and there's also on top of that there's twitch primes there's ads there's ad incentives it's like there's not really a point to go to youtube unless you get a contract and you're actually getting money that's worth it because if you're just going to youtube like straight up then i don't know i feel like that's kind of troll unless you're like a smaller streamer then it's like not as bad because you can kind of like restart over there and maybe bring some people over but it's like when you already have that foundation set i feel like destroying it to make a new one is kind of kind of troll and i don't really like you know I don't really care too much to swap but twitch is kind of killing their own you know they're, they're kind of killing themselves in a way it's like bro why does everyone have to use a fucking fusion to be a little pussy oh my god sorry i had a mold a little bit had a mold at least one one time a video the way they do stuff is kind of weird and obviously there's been a lot of problems in the past with like just people in general being on the platform that shouldn't be on the platform bro it, i'm supposed to bring you i don't give a fuck bro like this kid is strafing left and right while I'm in a smoke grenade and I literally can't move. All right, he missed. He literally missed. All right, uh, hang on. I'm actually getting tilted. Please, fuck off. Please. There are other people you can go fucking chase down and hunt down. You're still in super. You're still in super. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm about to go on Overwatch with the, with the angry mentality and I'm about to lose. I'm not gonna lie, man. It's crazy. People in this game don't use their guns. Like, they don't use their primary weapons. Okay. The game's over. You can you can stand up. You can stand up and get off your fucking knees. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for today's video. I'm already mad at this game. I literally want to uninstall it unbelievably bad. If I wasn't uploading, I would not be playing. Anyways, uh, the Sturm is pretty mid, to be honest. I don't even have the Catalyst. I don't even know what the Catalyst does. Catalyst probably helps a lot. So I'm not going to say it's that bad, but without Catalyst, if you were just using it, this shit is fucking meat. 
it's not a bad 120 but compared to other 120s it's just not worth using in my opinion igneous is a lot better true prophecy is a lot better either way you know half the exotics in this game are useless anyway so it doesn't really make a difference if you guys did enjoy the video please be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe to not miss any future videos i'm gonna throw up the comment of the day right now whoever it is congratulations if you guys want to enter for comment of the day all you have to do is leave a comment down below and whoever is the most upvoted will be in the next video but that is gonna be it for me guys i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out